To access Valmar, you need to get a key for this place. You get it down over here at the Grand Forest Villa in a room that overlooks this little lake. That's pretty much it. I haven't gone here yet because I knew there was going to be a quest involving Vera coming here. And I figured, you know, two birds, one stone. Might as well explore this dwarven ruin while we have the dwarf going through the dwarven quest. Why not, you know? Sounds fun. I have to agree, though, with some people. Speaking of dwarven stuff, there really should be a DLC or even a game where you just explore the deep roads. That would be freaking awesome. And I really do think they're, leading, they're starting to get to that path. Maybe. Finally. Started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyria Mountain unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for it to start talking to us. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> Alrighty, time to slaughter a bunch of, uh, Carta. There are a shite ton of karma down here. Car Carta. I wonder if Varric is strictly a surface dwarf, born on the surface, never been, never lived in the, uh, never lived in Orzammar or whatnot. I'm not entirely sure. That's fucking ominous. Woo. <clears throat> Bring it, bitch. That's not gonna hurt us, but it's gonna hurt you. <laughs> Thank you, Dorian. Bam. Oh, you hid while I was causing the fire. You coward. Oh, hi. Now you're dead. Read. Okay. I wonder. Iron Bolt! Smash! Thank you, Iron Bolt. Alright. In here we have... A Pitch Grenade Recipe. Now, I'm not so sure if this is a... If this actually works. <clears throat> I do know, I believe at least, that it worked in um, Origins. I've heard it has, but I'm not so sure. But uh, from what I can gather, Pitch basically is oil. And if you throw down Pitch... Excuse me. So you can about? ignite it. Skulking around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day-to-day? -day? I usually try to avoid the caves. No, oh, how cute. So I think if I actually start using that, I can actually um uh ignite people, or at least cause more fire damage, which is pretty good if you're a fire mage, like Lilith currently is. Oh. Grab! And just because I love doing this. Alright. Break all the box! <laughs> I love destructible environments. They're so much fun. This place is also a great source for Drake Stone. You find it literally all over the fucking place. We may be too close to the surface for these to count as Fuck you! Fuck you, Hur Hurlock. <clears throat> Luckily, these guys are really low-level fuckers, so they're pretty easy to deal with. Boom! <laughs> Derek, I have something for you. Open this door for me. I really like uh, Dorian's armor. The uh, snake embroidery looks really wicked. Alright. Mosaic tile. The last one actually is in here as well. So, yay. We actually do need this place though. Because we need this. 
there are, as you can see, two of them in the, in the um, this place. <clears throat> in Volomar. Boom! Crush! Boom! You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you'd died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd be free, baby? Kick your ass? I love Bianca, she's so cool. So sassy, too. Alright, and there goes the Alpha. Because I'm always curious about this. This is the entrance to the Deep Roads, by the way, that the um, Dark Spawn are using. But... Now they aren't. Alright, that's where we need to go. And we will uh, come back out here, so don't have to worry about that. Right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption. That's not gonna happen, even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was. A surfacer paragon? Never. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Admit it. You've been waiting to do that since we arrived. <laughs> of course I was. <laughs> After you. <laughs> Adorable. Hey guys! Sit! Good boy. Alright, let's just... Quarantine them over there for a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, I gotta love these spells. Ooh, a book. What's in the book? Experience. Yay, experience! Open. You know, this is almost fun. Kinda like old times. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. <laughs> Remember crashing Barton's guild dinner? We might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. <laughs> Oh, the Lilia's back! Cool. That means Rainier is back as well. Dash! A little too far to the left. Wunaba! They really don't have anything for me, so... Yes, stop by and see her workshop. There you are. We won't be able to use this entrance again. Bianca. You want to say something, Vari? Don't drop say that, Bianca. You're the leak. When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the red lyrium and I studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You've had people studying it for years now, and they've come up with nothing. I just... wanted to figure it out. You could have been killed. Or worse. And for what? Knowledge! You're not gonna beat Corypheus with ignorance. I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive. Or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals. Only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this guy, Lorias. He seemed really interested in helping my research. So I gave him a key. Lorias? He was the Grey Warden we met in Corypheus's... Seems off. 
I didn't realize until you said you found Red Leary in the Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. You couldn't have known what would happen. Mafarath balls, she couldn't. I told her exactly how bad this shit was. I told her to keep away from it. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. Oh, for pity's sake, did you two just get a room? Sorry, Inquisitor. We've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. <clears throat> Feisty. And I can see you're doing that too. <laughs> Without hesitation. Alright, now to actually continue on and finish up Valamar, and then go do Dorian's quest to finish up the Hinterlands. And then we will be done here as far as I can call, recall off the top of my head. You guys don't want to come here. That's my warning mark to you guys. The assassin tried to get to me, but nearly burnt to death in the process. Love it! Hi. More notes. They've been watching our movements. Alrighty, and that's that. Woo! Okay. Now we open the vault. I'm assuming this is a this is a treasure room for this tag, I guess. Not how I'm sure, considering I'm not fully certain what what constitutes constitutes the tag. Yay! Another deep rose entrance, or at least a uh, plus dark spawn. Another dead. Last mosaic piece. Oh no, uh, uh, Alpha. There we go. Now, one of these has a dwarven banner crown. There it is. Yeah, that'd probably be the Deep Rose entrance. Here's still near side of that. That's probably Deep Rose entrance where the um dark the other dark spawn were coming through. <clears throat> Excuse me. Docker Arms 3. I can make that now. An enchanted version nonetheless. But that's pretty much all Valmar is. Honestly, when i the very first time I came here. I was really excited. I thought I found a really cool, you know, dungeon. And since I was... Since I got this game, day of release. If you don't believe me, check my uh, first playthrough of this game. It was released the day after the game was released. <clears throat> or the day of. I can't remember exactly which time I released it. Anywho. Uh, since that was the case, there was no information about what the Hinterlands had or anything like that. No clue what the um, astromissiles were for. And none of that shit. And when I came here, I thought, oh, cool, this is a dungeon. That may mean that, you know, all the other areas will have dungeons that we can crawl through that are optional areas with high-level enemies where we can get high-level loot and whatnot. And 
I was kind of right, but wasn't to the grandiose notion I had in my head, where it was this, you know, really big dungeon, sort of like a, um, a raid boss on an MMO. Ugh, I really wish they would have included that. That would have been so fucking awesome. It's this huge, sprawling labyrinth. Oh, well. Because <clears throat> you have to remember, the, um, when you first find this area, you're woefully under underleveled. Um, I actually was able to get, get the key when I was, like, level... 5, maybe? I explored this entire area in depth when I first came to the Hinterlands. Uh, off screen, of course, because I didn't want to bore the hell out of you guys. But... I just really wish there, were, there was something more... grand with places like that. Who knows, maybe the next Dragon Age game. Since this game came out relatively early on in the PS4 life cycle, relatively being the key word here, uh, um, I'm not entirely sure if they utilize the full power the hardware has. So, yeah. We'll see, I guess. And I'll be quiet for the lovely scene coming up. Use the word, lo word lovely loosely. Family retainer was just what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it, but maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. Then walk away, Dorian. You already did that once, didn't you? I agree, let's go. There's nothing more to be gained here. Dorian, please, if you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic, the resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. I think it's time we left. I agree. What do you expect him to do, dipshit? You use blood magic on your son just because he liked men. The fuck, dude? That's just wrong on so many levels.
was a good man, my father. Deep down. He taught me principle is important. He cares for me in his way, but he won't ever change. I can't forgive him for what he did. I won't. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there, even if it didn't work out. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think he led me on, actually. Ah, the flirting. You're a remarkable woman, Inquisitor. I mean that in the best way. In another life, I meant no offense. I'll desist if you prefer. Desist? Don't you dare. <laughs> I stand so instructed. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime. If you've a mind. I like Dorian, he's pretty uh, nice. That doesn't sound good. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your great tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me. <laughs> oh. I What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of De Winter. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from De Winter, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. The concerns of the Chantry are no concern of the Inquisition, Mother Giselle. I'm aware of that. You risk. However, not only the Chantry has been there. And if I ask from where these rumors originated, I... See, I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intention. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. That's something. Don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She does, actually. There are rumors, and her concern is well-meaning, if misplaced. It doesn't matter. <laughs> listen to you. It's good to be the Inquisitor. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Why should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I've brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but... I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countrymen, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. Oh, isn't that sweet? Anything else? You seem very interested in my opinion. Nope. Yay! Hmm. There's a quest marker. It's not for you. Ah, oh, it's for Varric. Right, right. Alright, let's turn this in. It's supposed to be this one right here, this mural. <clears throat> Unfortunately, one of the um, tiles, as you can see, is glitched. And probably won't appear. Kind of annoying, but I technically have it. I'm glad to have answers, but... Shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... 
I let this mess happen. I gave her the tag. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. Quit being evasive. Tackle it head on. Sure. You know it took me three years to work up the nerve to confront my brother for trying to kill me. And even then, I couldn't make myself do it without somebody to stand there and hold my hand. If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. You know that's not true. You've worked as hard as any of us to stop Corypheia. Is that true? I don't even know anymore. Thank you. For your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. Alright, so the, one of my favorite cutscenes this entire game is about to come up. And I want to uh, show it to you without the possibility of my controller, my, um, my, uh, thing fucking up. So I'm gonna reset the recorder real quickly. So I'll be right back, guys.